What is up, everybody? Gary Simon here. So today, this is a big one. Just yesterday, Adobe released Firefly, and it's a beta I invite access only sort of thing, and it is their answer to AI, essentially. It's going to be the future of their AI systems. And I was able to get in. I hit my people up at Adobe, I had to beg them basically, and they let me in. And today, I'm going to show you comparison uh, outputs with prompts, the same exact prompt that I'm going to issue Midjourney version five versus Adobe Firefly. And the results are actually pretty interesting. So if you wanna fast forward to that part in the video, go ahead and do that. I have timestamps here. But for now, uh, we're gonna take, take a look at just what their interface looks like and what they're currently offering. Uh, so basically we have text to image. Yep, awesome. Uh, text effects. And this is something that Midjourney can't handle. We'll take a look at that as well. Um, and coming soon is recoloring vectors. Now there's a bunch of other stuff they're working on. If we scroll down here, they're working on in painting, which will allow you to add, remove, or replace objects in an image. Personalized results, which is generating images based on your own object or style. Text to vector. Now this is huge. I've covered a video uh, recently about a process where you can use Midjourney to provide you with vector-like artwork, but it's rastered, and then you import it into Adobe Illustrator and then vectorize it. That's not as ideal as just having vector out of the box. So that's something that will be coming. Text to pattern, 3D to image, uh, extending images, uh, also down here, text to brush, so you can create like Photoshop brushes, uh, sketch to image, this is really cool. I just imagine like your child creating this crappy drawing and then it just like makes it better and realistic and like, who knows? I, I also saw them do this with a logo design, like a, a rough logo design sketch and it creates this awesome vector uh, representation. Also text to template. Very exciting stuff in the world of AI. We're all probably gonna be dead soon because it's gonna take us over. But anyhow, let's go ahead and take a look just real quickly at the interface of text to image for Adobe Fire Firefly. It's already way better than the interface, which is just a chat-based Discord bot for Midjourney. So a Firefly wins out here in terms of the interface department, in my opinion. Now, one thing they could improve when I first got to this uh, point, you know, you click on generate and then it's like, it's giving me a gallery. And then I saw, oh, way at the very bottom right here is where you actually enter and you start off uh, entering your, your information or your prompt. So for me, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a prompt just to show you. And it's gonna be an obese cat. Let's get myself out of the way. An obese cat eating a bowl of cheese in the middle of a kitchen. All right, so let's just click generate and see what it comes up with. I didn't enter this prompt before. I have no clue how good or how bad it will be. And we'll go over. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. We'll go over uh, some of the settings over here as well in this panel to the right. So, uh, of course, we could change the aspect ratio uh, to, to like portrait, for instance. Now it's going to regenerate these. Uh, let, let's do actually widescreen 16 by 9. Um, we can see right now it's by it's on art by default. I, I'm going to change this to photo. And then it gives you styles, and then it'll give you some popular styles down here, like Synthwave, and then you can change the color, lighting, and composition. So right now, this is based on the art preset. This is actually pretty good. Now, if I change this to, uh, oh, th this is, yeah, that's the art preset. Let's click this again and choose photo. And I also notice that it is faster. It's notably faster uh, than mid-journey. Now, is this pretty much, you know, is this photorealistic? Not quite, but it's actually, you know, pretty close there. It's kind of like a mid-journey version four, I would say, in terms of realism. And so that's basically how that interface works. Also, just to show you the text effect before we get into the image comparison, uh, this is so cool. So down here, this is where you enter it. And if I move out of the way, you can first enter the text that you want to appear. So let's say, for instance, we want to enter snake. So these are the letters that we want to describe. Now, what do we want the, le the letters to look like? Like what textures do we want to apply? Let's just do snake scales, all right? Or snake skin, let's do that one. Snake skin, and let's hit generate. All right, so we can see snake here. It is currently working, as we could see. Look at that. Look at that. Snake skin, snake skin, snake skin. For those of you who don't know, I, I used to have an 18-foot reticulated python, so I'm in, in the snake. So this is really cool. We can change the, 
the uh, the actual the letters over here if we want and we can also you know we can change it to bread and toast there's just some sample effects I uh, it is freaking amazing what this can actually do just look at this look at the detail I uh, mid journey can't do that that's for sure all right so let's go ahead and get into the actual image comparisons if you enjoyed this video, check out designcourse.com where you can learn UI, UX, CSS, and more with my custom interactive platform that makes learning fun and easy. And so I have Notepad open here. I don't have any fancy editing for today's video, but the very first prompt that we're gonna take a look at is a woman and her baby in a wooden rocking chair, dimly lit room with morning light rays entering a nearby window, wooden floors, and a lamp in the corner. All right, let's see how Firefly did. So this is the result from Firefly. We can see it has issues with faces clearly, but you know what? It adhered to everything I said in each of the photos. It has a lamp, it has uh, light rays, it's dimly lit, it's not too bright. Uh, it has a wooden floor and it has a rocking chair with a woman in her bed. I mean, that's, that's freaking awesome for a beta product and it's only been trained on, it's been trained ethically uh, on its own data, like from Adobe Stock, which is crazy. So it, it's probably working on a data set that's probably far uh, inferior to the, the amount of the data set that's been trained on Midjourney version 5, for example. I'm, I can't be certain of that, but that's just my assumption. Now let's take a look at what Midjourney did. All right. So it has very similar, uh, all four results are quite similar in terms of lighting and such. Now one thing that it got wrong is it, it didn't really give me a lamp except for like right here in the corner. The other ones don't have a lamp at all, but the faces are way better. Uh, there's no weird artifacts uh, in, in, the, in the bodies at least. It, it, in, and I would say in terms of being photorealistic, it's just a, a step above. So if we look at both of these side by side, we'll see that I uh, clearly this is mid journey. I would say this one's better and it would definitely pass as you know being photorealistic, but it, Firefly is not that far off. And so I, I took the best one from uh, Firefly and the best one from Midjourney. Uh, and that's a really sad image, by the way. <laughs> it's like, what is happening? Uh, and, but, but yeah, so clearly uh, Midjourney wins that one, that's for sure. Now let's take a look at the next prompt. And the next prompt is going to be a tiger running through the jungle, a very simple prompt. So let's take a look and see how that uh, turned out. So here is Firefly. This is actually really solid. So here's the top left one, top right. This is really nice. All looking very, you know, pretty solid. It's very vibrant. Now, if you take a look at Mid Journey, this obviously version five here looks, you know, like it came straight out of a camera. Uh, and it just doesn't seem overly vibrant. So if we compare both of these, uh, we have Firefly on the right, and then we have Mid Journey on the left. The best one right here I, from Mid Journey compared to the best one on, or sorry, that was Firefly, and here's Mid, Mid Journey. Um, the next one is actually very close. I would say they're equal. Uh, a cyberpunk behind a computer hacking the internet in a dark room. So let's check that one out. Here is Firefly. Very solid right here. I like this. They didn't have to, we didn't use faces in this one, so it, it, it's, it definitely does a better job. And then here is Mid Journey. So we have a face here, it looks great. Everything's perfect looking. Again, just a little bit more realistic. This one, it kind of gave me a stylized version, like, a, like an illustration. And if we take a look at the best one from Firefly versus, here's Firefly versus Mid Journey, that is the result. And I would say they're pretty much, it's subjective at this point. So very impressive. Next one, I have a very strange prompt. This one is a deflated basketball in a large ballroom with cathedral ceilings. <laughs> I'm just randomly coming up with stuff. And so here is Firefly. It's actually not that bad. All right, not too deflated. This is kind of deflated, squashed. Here we kind of, you can see they, kind of have like a background, or like a, a basketball hoop in the background, but yeah, this is actually pretty solid uh, for Firefly. Let's check out the Mid Journey one. Now this is strange because it almost looks like these are not basketballs. Like this one is closest as possible to being a basketball, but look how large it is. Of course, it looks a little bit more photorealistic. The lighting's pretty good here, uh, but taking a look at the best one from 
Firefly versus the best one from uh, Mid Journey. I would say this one's actually more realistic and better. I mean, it looks like an actual hoop. Uh, but anyhow, very, very cool. Now, let's do another one. The next prompt that I used is a billboard that has the word Woe, W-O-H, in a large serif font. All right, so this is kind of pushing the limits here because I know image or asking text to image to generate text is typically a, a hard thing to do. But here is uh, the one from Firefly. This one's awesome right down here in the corner, uh, but it's not serif, so it didn't understand that, but it has all the letters and it just looks like a real image that you would see. It has like rust down here and everything. Um, now, if we compare that to Mid Journeys, actually Mid Journey did a worse job of representing the text, which is interesting result. Uh, so if we look at the best one from Firefly versus the best one from Mid Journey, I think we have the winner and that is Firefly in this context. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the another one. And this time I decided to I ask it to give us kind of like a vector one because Firefly is capable of, you know, allowing you to do kind of like art styles like we saw. So a person running down the middle of an empty street in a big city during the night, all right? And I made it not the photorealistic version but like an art style. So here is what that looks like. And this looks actually really good. It's exactly what I, oh, and I also specified Synthwave on that, I uh, on that prompt. And so these are all very solid. Now let's check out what it looks like on Midjourney. All right, so Midjourney's four options all look very similar, but and they're pretty solid. So if we look at the best one from Firefly versus the best one from Midjourney, I actually like Overall, Firefly is better because I like the character in the middle. It's more detail. So very, very, very solid. And then for one final prompt, I go. I went ahead and I asked a logo design for a coffee shop with the name Coffee Me. All right. See how that does? And I was not expecting great results because, like I said, text and words are as difficult. Here's the one that was generated from I uh, the Firefly, which... You know, this one's actually pretty good. It, it, it's misspell. And of course, this type of thing would be solely for inspiration. You know, I, this, this would be great for inspiration. You wouldn't want to use any of these out of the gate. But let's go ahead and compare this real quick with the result from Midjourney. And again, I wouldn't say either or is better. I, Midjourney's on the left, Firefly is on the right. I'd say this is probably slightly better just for ideas of, I, you know, inspiration but it's not very far off so having said that hopefully you all enjoyed this video i'm going to be covering a lot more the world of ai is going insane right now as you know and i'm just very excited to uh, be a part of it really because we're witnessing i uh, history making technological advancements as always make sure to subscribe here leave a comment it's going to help the channel and check out designcourse.com because i have an ai course AI UI UX design course coming out and we're also enhancing designcourse.com with AI and ChatGPT very shortly as well. All right, everybody. See you later.